Hey there guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another Best Class Setups in Cold War video. I already told you in the shotgun video that we were going to be making the dual wield akimbo DM Marty in this video. Man, this is a very good option in this game. I love it so much. I really do have to compare the actual akimbo pistols to each other. I do have to make a video talking about which one's best in my opinion because I think that'd do quite well. And there is actually a lot of options that you can go with in terms of your sort of secondary pistol slot. Anyway, guys, just before we do jump into our best Diamati class setup here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I've got loads of content lined up for all of you, so make sure you don't miss out on any of that, including all these different versus videos on like the shotguns, the pistols and stuff like that, the best SMGs and so on. So don't miss out on any of those. All right, let's just jump straight into it here and talk about some Diamati. So as we normally do with these pistol class setups, these secondary builds that we're going with at the moment, we don't really care about our primary too much at all. So of course, we will talk about the Diamati in a second. All the timestamps will be in the description and on the loading bar of the video. So do skip to any section that you want. But we're going to start off with our tactical here. We do actually need the smoke grenade. As we are going to be playing on Nuketown in this particular gameplay, we need the smoke grenade to sort of cross those longer lines of sight. We talked about this previously. A smoke grenade is actually a very powerful piece of utility for getting you across the map into the positions where you can be most effective with this particular class setup. The lethal slot we're going with the Semtex, but the C4, the Frag, the Tomahawk, and the Molotov are all fantastic options at doing what they do. You can't really go wrong making one of these choices here. In the field upgrade slot, you get a choice of whatever you do prefer here. I actually really like the field microphone, as we've spoken about before, giving that mini advantage UAV like feature or the jam if you are playing on Nuketown or those smaller maps to sort of block off that information from the UAV. In the perk slot we're of course talking about the wild card first with this because we are getting perk greed and then we want six perks and of course as we mentioned our perks are flak jacket which is basically a mandatory option at the moment. I've seen people take like four or five RPG shots with this particular thing which is absolutely broken and of course forward intel which does show you the enemy spawn locations which is very very important on those close quarters maps it shows you when the spawns flip where people are spawning and it's very very useful in the perk 2 slot we're going for gearhead and of course scavenger getting that extra ammo as we do run over people's bodies is very very important with this particular class as we're not really relying on a primary we are just running around with two akimbo pistols and then gearhead for getting that extra piece of field upgrade equipment in the perk 3 slot you already know what it is ghost and ninja of course being able to move around the map quickly and quietly without being seen or hurt is of course super super strong so as for our attachments with our Diamati class setup, you already know we're going with those akimbos, those dual wield options. Fantastic in this game, of course. Of course, starting off with that dual wield perk, essentially just getting two pistols to fire. Like you can't really go wrong here. Of course, the Diamati is that burst pistol. And this means we can get like basically a one burst. Like if you pull both triggers, you'll end up killing someone as this does 34 damage per bullet. If I'm reading that correctly, so that's 90 in one. You pull two, that's like 180 damage. This should do a fantastic job in any game mode that you go after here. Then of course, we'll go into that salvo 30 round fast bag as well for that increase to our reload capacity, speed, all these other good things. And we just... We just reload fast with this, so this is a fantastic option. No downside here because we don't really care about aim downside speed at all with Akimbo pistols. Then the body for that SWAT 5 milliwatt laser, of course, 35% increase to our hip fire accuracy. This is all we're going to be doing here, running around sprinting everywhere, so this is a very important option. In the barrel slot, we're going for that task force option as well for that little bit of an increase to our damage, the effective damage range as well, and of course our bullet velocity. We are running around at those close quarter situations, so just getting as much damage as possible into the target is, of course, very, very important. Then lastly, we're going for that muzzle, that SOCOM Eliminator. 85% increase to our muzzle flash concealment, meaning we do disappear from the radar very, very quickly here. And then giving us a little bit of vertical recoil control, 17% at that. So as we normally do, we're just going to jump into some gameplay here. Have a fun time with this particular option because these akimbo pistols in this game are absolutely wild. If you haven't unlocked them already, make sure you do go check it out because this is a very, very fun option in this game. Oh, look at these, man. Like, just look at them. Look at them. They're beautiful. Essentially, like just running around with akimbo Renetti is just so super goofy. You get in the right spots and you can just blast people away. We're going to smoke that off as well. We're going to push up here. There's actually somebody just... Hang on. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Hang on a minute. That's not a good start. All right. These things are actually good. Trust me. Trust me. I'm not actually just a bot. These are actually good. Have faith in a second. We'll get into the actual right positions here. We can do some serious work. That, however, is a little bit of a problem. Ooh. We'll bait him. Get him to go that way with a little bit of a foot fake. We'll come up the top. Anybody here? All right. Didn't actually see who I... Come on. Re-peek me. No, he's already dead. It does actually make it very beneficial for you to actually crouch with these particular weapons. Like, if you are crouching, that hip fire spread is reduced again. So, if you do crouch, you just get that one burst with two pistols, which is... That's dumb. 
Makes you very, very accurate here, which is all you're after, really. Now, of course, I really don't know which one out of these particular... Ooh, <laughs> that's bad timing. I really don't know which one of these, like, dual wield akimbo pistol options I do... Really? Really? Come on. I could not see him there. Yeah, I actually don't know which one of these akimbo pistol options I prefer, really. Like, you got the... The consistency of the 1911, but you've got the actual damage in such quick bursts with the Diamatis, but then you get like good accuracy with the the Magnum, so it's like which one do you choose? Like what's what's the best option here? And we'll have to Oh, oh we got baited again. Oh, he was there the whole time. So we are going to have to, of course, make a video comparing all the pistols that are available in the game to each other because they're, they're a bit different. They're a bit different to... Ooh, nice. They're a bit different to some of the pistols that we've seen previously, but they're also very similar. But the damage numbers you do need to actually know for yourself and like what's good about these particular weapons and where they shine and what they're actually good for in their specific roles because they are quite different. You're going to chase after us? No? <laughs> of course, of course, the timing is just mwah, chef's kiss. So perfect in these games. So, so perfect. I don't know. I feel like this year I'm having a little bit of trouble, like, doing the live commentaries as well as, like, focusing on the game because the game's pretty sweaty this year. So, come on. Come on. Yes. <laughs> as you know, the game is full of sweats this year. So, me commentating and not listening to the actual sound effects of the game is actually fairly detrimental to me not being able to make good gameplays, but I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm gonna put that there so we can get that advanced UAV effect. Trust, trust, trust. Is somebody up here? No, come on, man. Come on, he had the jump on us. He's still up there. He's on the bed. Ugh. Very scary. I knew he was still there, but I didn't really know where he was. He should have been able to kill us there. Oh my god, the movement there was so janky. I actually don't know what buttons I pushed to make that happen. That's that's not good. I cut my fingy too. I cut my finger on the, the knife, obviously, and that is... Uh, that is affecting my ability to kill people effectively because... My finger hurts, <laughs> so <laughs> we're just full of excuses today. We are just full of excuses. There's a guy back there. Seriously, dude. The spawn should flip again. They should be over here. They should be here again. Yeah, they are. Well, it depends. Like, oh, what is that? Oh, <laughs> oh the timing. This is what happens. Yeah, this is what happens. I'm talking about. This is this is it. Like. I don't get to listen because I'm busy talking the whole time. So I just get pulled up on by three boys in the same same location. So. Nope. But I mean, you just can't argue with that close range damage. Like, if you are close enough to somebody that they still... The burst hits somebody's like a dome, it's over. They, you just... They can't do anything. I was going to say it's not exactly safe for us to jump out there, but I mean... It was, and the game's over. I mean, we did okay. 17 and 9 is, of course, not the best game, but we'll have our final thoughts on this in just a second here. So, of course, we have mentioned a couple of times that we will eventually be taking a video, taking a look at all of the pistols that are available currently in the game, comparing them to each other, and actually picking, like, a best pistol overall, because there's it's a lot of different thinking here about what's going on at the moment. I do actually really like the Diamantes. I'm not sure if they're the most powerful option, but, I mean, you just can't go past that damage. If somebody does get hit by the full burst out of each pistol, they're going to die regardless of whether they have armor, what they're doing, how much health they have, who their mom is. Like, they, they're going to die. It is what it is. Like, you are just going to get that kill. But outside of those very close distances, it's sort of like, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll work on it and see what we can do. Anyway, guys, of course, I do appreciate you checking out this video. Thank you so much for watching, of course. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already done so because it does really help me out and I do very much appreciate it. And then you guys don't miss out on any of the upcoming content. We've got loads of stuff lined up. So make sure you don't miss out on any of that. Of course, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching as I've just said like 15 times and I will of course see you in the next one.
Bye.